मोक्ष शिलोंग से सीधे आपकी स्क्रीन पे युगी ऑन द बीट मेरे जगह वाली स्लैंग बेटा अजली है नॉर्थ ईस्ट मेरा प्रांत बेटा अजली है मणिपुर टू असम सब अजली है सब है एक भाई सब अजली है अब होने वाला इतिहास हाँ बलि देगा बीट और गवाह होंगे आप मेरे पार होते खत्म नहीं जैसे मैं असम भागे मीडिया के कैमरे मुझसे जैसे मोदी शाह Hello guys, welcome to our channel Rap Khan. And today we have a uh, with us Mox from Meghalaya, Silong, rapping from seven nine three double o four. Okay, bro. So, uh, why you choose Mox your as your name, artist name, bro? Uh, uh, so the, like like every artist does. Even I had uh, a lot of dilemma choosing names. You know, who, on se naam se connect karu ho ya. So I was not connecting with the other names, but Moksha is something which stayed with me. Okay. okay. Because it's a journey, right? Moksha, Moksha basically means what it means, salvation. Um, yeah. And uh, it stayed with me, and मजा आता है मुझे अभी Moksha नाम के साथ जीने में मतलब it has become a part of my life, and I I enjoy this, and uh, it's basically like the journey that I'm trying to live, and that signifies Moksha. So, bro, uh, you have been active since uh, I think 2014, if I'm not wrong, in the hip hop right, scene. Right. So, how yeah. is the scene growing in Silong, man? So, uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we had a scene uh, since the early 2000s. Right. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, there was a music video uh, which featured um, Kriti, uh, who, who's the lead vocalist of a. Uh, Of a very popular uh, blues band from India called uh, Soulmate. Yeah, yeah. Kriti, so the band was not formed then. So Kriti uh, featured on a uh, on a rap music video that was shot back in two thousand two. Okay. So yeah, and um, I think the scene has been there in Shillong since the nineties, if I'm not mistaken. Two thousand two me agar kar rahe wo gaane. So I'm sure they must have been practicing uh, since the you know late nineties. So um yeah so uh, it has been there for a very long time but ab kya ho raha hai that now we have diversity yeah like, uh, uh, a lot of the a lot of the folks are you know um, incorporating a lot of elements like we have got R and B we have got soul we have got the raw nineties rap you know that uh, uh, das effects uh, Wu Tang kind of flavor uh, and then guys like us were trying to incorporate. Uh, you know the cosmopolitan vibe of the city. You know, like incorporating multiple languages into one song. Um, so I think what we do is like uh, we, as a as a small city or as a small scene, we are quite diverse, and I'm pretty proud of that. Okay, bro. So uh, after getting the opportunity to be to be in uh, Northeast Cipher, so did it played any role in uh, boosting your career? Uh. Man, I didn't expect the response that we received on uh, the cipher. I mean, uh, to be honest, none of us expected that uh, it's going to be like that massive, and people are going to take it, you know, that seriously. Because right, usse pehle bhi seen tha. We did a lot of things. Uh, I mean, all of us have been doing multiple uh, things, but um, you know, that attention that the northeast cipher received is like crazy. Not just from from the northeastern region. But from yeah, the rest bro. of India, yeah. so you didn't expect that the rest of India is also going to take it, you know. Yeah, and uh, I think I think we are we are very happy with uh, how it went, and and that was beyond our expectations. Like like I said, none of us expected to be as a good one. Yeah, like you just did it for love of it. Because... You gave a बहुत ज़्यादा तगड़ा वाला start man with the bars and references Thanks. and the, the social issues you covered now in this track. It was means totally perfect. Track for Northeast Cipher. You covered all the issue of the northeastern India, so it was really a good track. So yeah, that's, that's our. That's our okay. uh, go back into my discography, like starting from my first EP. Uh, then uh, in 2014, in 2014, I got the chance to. So for the first time, I got the chance to collaborate with Happy Blood. So he did a Shillong Grand collaboration. So if you know, if you follow the verse in there also, like I'm, I'm trying to you know put uh, like 
you know, talk about the social issues uh, revolving around. And at that point in time, um, the region was, um, you know, basically our city was having a serious, uh, you know, uh, cases of violence and, um, and we had to shed some light on that. So uh, I did that. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what the lecture is all about, you know, talking about things which he sees around also. And speaking of Northeast Cypher, uh, I had to say it's like uh, Northeast, mm -hmm. Northeast to represent the round. And if I don't talk about the uh, issues of the Northeast, who else will, right? Right, so, right, right. Yeah. So, means there was, uh, means people were also talking that uh, the Northeast Cypher was a decipher for the genie or cone, something like that. And even you also mentioned a line Pahado ka Kohinur back Ardo me Koons. Actually, you explained me about this. This you said that ki e jo hamare backward means hamare yaha sare hi Koons. Everyone is a Koon in himself. So, right. what your clarification on the uh, people who are saying it's a distract for Jini? Um, they need to, you know, kya bolu mai abhi? They need to. Uh understand you know read between the lines yeah. he, uh, like like why are they saying a particular line and if, if it's, it's it's definitely not a this song but see it's a cypher right, right, and bro, right, in a cypher, right. each rapper each rapper has its own perspective and each rapper has the liberty to speak on whatever he or she wishes to speak about so right, uspe, we, we can't have any, you know you know any limitations to you can't uh, express this or talk about this. It's a cipher that yeah. that's what cipher represents. You know, but you can't put that as a this song because uh, who, apne, like whoever like my line, my line is basically you know paying homage to all the all the guys who have been doing it before us. So name before us. I, I I should also give a shout out to the guys. I I forgot the name uh, of the guys who did that music video, like the uh, at the start of the conversation which I spoke about, the one which yeah. was shot in two thousand two. I I don't remember their name, but then okay. I should give a shout out to them also. Also, yeah, like, they they somehow paved the way for us, right? So my whole objective of putting that word across, like Paharu ka Kohinoor and uh, Kohinoor, because I look up to Divine, so I had yeah, to put yeah. in that yeah. way and. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, so uh, like I did, I, I paid homage to Hope, I paid homage to Six God. Uh, yeah, yeah. To work hard, but I, like, 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 yeah, so people need to educate themselves on uh, the various elements. I understand we are pretty uh, new to the whole hip hop thing. Yeah, bro. Even though it has been here for a very, pretty, pretty, pretty long time, but then, um, you know, uh, most of us are pretty new to this. Right, bro, like right. um, how 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 long have have they been listening to music uh, like rap and in in generally like they must have been listening to the the Western music you know the rap which happens in the West but right, uh, DC rap or Indian rap or not or the hip hop which is coming out of Northeast India is getting has been getting its recognition in the past couple of years only yeah right bro, prior right. to that nobody knew uh, mm. or paid attention to it. Which is great. Uh, yeah. I understand, but then uh, when it comes to us, I feel each rapper has his own perspective and has the liberty to express uh, his or her will. You know, like whatever yeah, she bro. wants or he wants to. So we are this song. No, me or you, not me. Yeah. Okay. So, bro, uh, jo apne what you think? Yeah, yeah. Me or you, I think. Uh, I think this song was not me or you, because I thought there were some some artists who had. कुछ लाइनें बोली हैं बाकी मेरे को एवरी आर्टिस्ट ने अपना खुद का देने की कोशिश की है मींस देयर देयर इज नो लिंक मैन अब बोलेंगे यूएनबी उस पे शॉर्ट थोड़ी ना लेगा मींस देयर इज नो इशू विद द यूएनबी ही हैज अनदर लिरिक्स एंड डोप लाइंस मैन पंच लाइंस एंड के फॉर केको इज आल्सो आई डोंट थिंक ही वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट जीनी मुझे नहीं लगा मुझे नहीं लगा या सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट अजली है द स्लैंग व्हिच इज more viral in your reason so uh, ajli a track how matlab kaise ajli a track compose kiya aur kaise us kya zoom studio zoom studio tha if i am not wrong jinke sath aapne okay, track yeah, banaya so, tha huh. yeah to yeah. kaise wo concept nikal ke aaya aur kaise aapne wo pura banaya design kiya bahut tagda bahut bahut sahi track tha yaar wo uh thanks first of all 
वो एक्चुअली मेरा सबसे सक्सेसफुल ट्रैक है सो फार या या राइट राइट या आई मीन इट्स द मोस्ट पॉपुलर वन या इट इज अ अजली इट इज अ डोप वाइब मैन द वीडियो कांसेप्ट इज ग्रेट एंड द सिनेमेटोग्राफी मींस डायरेक्शन एवरीथिंग इज सो परफेक्ट and the oh, pahado wali jo vibe wali jo yugi beat ne ek aur jo pahado wali vibe wali jo music diya na i mean it's so killer man so ha uh, 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 not not a slang but uh, kind of like how in the west you would say something as it is a man that's do uh, in that sex stuff so in in, in our uh, locality which is laban 793 double yeah oh. so uh, there um, there used to be a, a cafe uh, like a cyber cafe yeah bro so it was called base like it, it was a gaming cafe basically so okay. counter strike uh, and stuff like that so sab wahan pe jaate the game khelte the and yeah. some somehow somewhere someone came up with that term you know hey really instead of saying asli ye to asli kaam yeah. diya they said really yeah yeah so yeah. They, that kind of stuck with the you know the the folks around there so to be wahan pe khelne jata tha everybody started incorporating that asli term yeah, yeah. and that this i'm talking about like around 2007 8 6 7 8 yeah uh, and since then it it went viral like every, like in shillong uh, uh laban boys are you know uh, recognized as asli asli bola tha ye laban se hai Okay. But now it, what happened is that it has transcended, like it has crossed uh, the borders of Laban, and like boys from other parts of Shillong are also, you know, incorporating it in their, uh, you know, day-to-day uh, language. Yeah, so now the Mox fam also know you by the Ajli, <laughs> Ajli <laughs> fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ajli fam. Yeah. Right. So yeah, that's what's up. वो तो होना ही था. And and um, uh, like uh, the guys who Uh, I mean, from the locality, they they are proud of the fact that I did a song, you know, dedicating yeah. to the term Ajli. Ajli. So, um, yeah, yeah, I I I can share some screenshots regarding that. Like people DM mm-hmm. me saying, "Keep this is great." Like we never That's thought right. that this will go into the national platform. This term that we <laughs> like, like, yeah. like how Bombay has its own slang, right? Like, yeah, bro, right. It has its own Hindi, right? Bombay yeah. का अपना जो street language है काफी अलग है normal language. वो होता ही है. Every the regional और जो mix हो जाता है. हर every region has different slang, so mix हो जाता है. अपने language और Hindi सबसे mix होके एक नया term निकल के आ जाता है. Yeah. Right. So rap का क्या है? Rap को वही होता है ना जो street language होता है उनको acknowledge करना होता है. Right, bro. Right. So I did that, and uh, people appreciated it. It's a big deal. So up to fam one, you guys have already fam, and it's it's called, it's a movement now. Yeah. So let's talk about your EP twenty one. So how you came up with twenty one, man? It has a dope tracks, man. Twenty one. Yeah. So how many tracks are in? How many tracks are in twenty one, man? Uh, five. Five. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, but we worked on say about twenty, twenty-five tracks, of which we took those five. Okay. Um, like the best five. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm happy with that project. Like, it's the best way I could have introduced myself to the the world, you know. And uh, basically, I've been writing twenty-one since I was eighteen, I guess. So, and I dropped it in two thousand nineteen. So I was, uh, what? I was already twenty-three years old, I guess. So why yeah. you choose twenty-one, man? Why you choose twenty-one number? <clears throat> it's it's. So there's a saying, you know. I I don't know how true is that. Um. So when you die, your body weighs uh twenty gram uh twenty-one grams lesser. Okay. Okay. So people say that that's the the weight of your soul. Okay. Like instantly when you die. That, that's just to say i don't know how to okay. that. that is one that is one angle to it the other one was that uh, i was since i was putting that phase you know that identity crisis all the phase and like that that transformation from a teenager to an adult yeah bro like so 21 is that phase right so, uh, so i was dealing with that phase so yeah that's why so even in the songs you'll see there are songs where i'm you know questioning yeah, my identity like where my and uh, stuff right, like bro, that right 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 
so yeah, yeah so that that's like combining the two concepts i came up with uh, 21 right so bro uh, after the release of ajli hai and after almost 5 6 7 months after that you came up with ajli hai too and there was lots of yeah. uh, Talking means जैसे होता है ना लोग ताने मारते हैं कि क्या कर रहा है you covered in your track Ajli Hai Two so was the negativity that means जो आपको Ajli Hai Two बनाने में मजबूर किया या how you came up with Ajli Hai Two but it it doesn't right. got the response as Ajli Hai got true true yeah so uh, when Ajli Hai Two dropped uh, things were not right in this part of the region you know we were having anti car protests uh, right. uh, for about a month almost a month uh, internet was uh, banned in in northeast right so i couldn't myself like so at that same time my mixtape mixtape also my debut mixtape was also dropped okay. which uh, azia 2 is a part of yeah. so um, yeah i couldn't promote it myself and uh, Critically speaking, yeah, it got featured on Rolling Stone and stuff yeah, yeah. like that. I saw so, that. Yeah. In terms of promotion, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, do justice with it. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, I got, I got uh, good, like, like the fam which I'm talking about. I got yeah. good response from the fam, and which means a lot to me. In terms of numbers, yeah. maybe we have failed, but in terms of uh, connecting to the, to the, uh, like the fam. Like yeah. that's the most important part, right? For every artist, their core, their, their core uh, fans, like their core uh, followers, need to connect with what they are dropping, right? right. So uh, that way, I think I was successful, and mm -hmm. they felt what I said in there. Yeah, and your tracks uh, means uh, I've been heard listening your track means for since one week. Just I I have to interview. That's why I started listening all okay. your track. So. I have found that the your track has lots of means catchy stuff. I means the chorus is catchy, just like that. Okay, okay, that uh, that uh, Bengali version. It was so catchy, man. Yeah. And the dream dream track is so relatable to means you can easily relate to your dreams, man. Ki, yeah, I want to be someone in life. We are not rich, but we want to be someone in life, man. So means uh, yeah. your every track has a good means chorus and lyrics, man. I really enjoy your track. Thanks, much appreciated. And I feel like with time, I just uh, I, like I believe that like with time, I I don't make music which is like trending, you know. Like yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I make music for for uh, the generations to come. Like I know five years down the line, ten years down the line, these songs are still gonna be relevant. Yeah. So uh, that's that's my whole uh, vibe. I like. Yeah, initially maybe I've done songs uh, to get you know get numbers or get stuff like that. But at this point in time, the mooks that are speaking here, this mooks does not care about numbers. He just yeah. cares about music. Like right. uh, he he first needs to connect with what he is making, and if he connects with it, then only his fans and his uh, followers and people like the rest of the world will get to hear it. So that's the vibe that I'm in, and yeah, I'll carry it forward from there. I mean, I've been carrying it forward. So, yeah. so what's the future projects, man? Any upcoming collaboration? Uh, collaborations. I'm I'm collaborating with producers. Okay. Um, a lot of producers. Um, Basol is one great producer. I've known him for a. Uh, we have known each other for years. Okay. He's a he's a mad producer from Guwahati. Hmm. Um, for the rest of the year, I've got a few singles, uh, yeah. solos. I, I, for the moment, I just want to, you know, create my own stuff. Yeah. Like basically, solos which I've written in 2020 are going to be out this year. This last year, you know, I was taking kind of a break. Okay. Uh, like we all did. Yeah, so, right, right. Yeah. And uh, so, but yeah, whatever I wrote in 2020 uh, will be out this year. Uh, we have something coming out pretty soon. That one is with Flames. Uh, he's also another crazy producer from uh, Guwahati. Mm. So these these two producers are kind of defining the new evolved mode. You know, Base yeah. is one and Flames, um, insane producers. And I have got some crazy stuff coming with both of them. That's there. And uh, yeah, in terms of collaboration, there aren't any plans as of yet. But uh, going forward, you'd never know what comes up. Okay, no uh, collaboration with any artist means rapper or singer. Uh, 
not at the moment okay no, no plans are such at the yeah. moment but you never know going forward so i got a question from the audience that uh, uh, will you collab with leo boys in future or any thought of you yeah. to collab with leo boys yeah absolutely why not um, these these guys have like you know this changed um, the scene in like what they started like dropping content in since 2018 i guess yeah. and the, the way they were evolved- I'm like pretty proud of these guys. Somia is like, I mean, uh, El Depo is like from my neighborhood. So I've I've seen them grow up and like, I mean, grow up in the sense as as artists. So I'm crazy. And why not? Absolutely, we will, we will. We have been talking about collabs for years now, but uh, you know that synergy needs to be created. We don't get to hang right. or chill. I'm currently based in Guwahati, so you know, yeah. shift is uh, there. But yeah, we will going forward one day. We'll definitely do that. But before that, like about, I just wanted to say, like, y'all should uh, go stream their uh, music. You know, uh, they, yeah, they, they dropped a mad album. Yeah, bro, right, 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 right. Really, really Homecoming. good. Like a sequel to their, yeah, that's the sophomore, right? Mm. After Resurrect. So yeah, y'all should go and check it out. Uh, and my 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 man Yugi from Izol did a lot of beats in there. So yeah, bro. Yugi, check it out. Yugi Yugi has been supporting means uh, is working with you since long time. It's when you started during yeah, that yeah. time. So what your yeah. thought about Yugi, man? Yeah, it's it's funny how uh, me and Yugi connected. You know, so uh, he was making music then. He was not yeah. a producer, hmm, okay. and I was uh, I was working as a journalist, music yeah. journalist. So uh, for a for a um, uh, northeast based uh, uh, like music portal, so um, we, we reached out saying that hey, I dropped an EP, and uh, so he was not he he was uh, performing with his uh, actual name like official name, which is uh, David Hamzam. So then I heard his music, I liked it, and uh, somehow he checked some of my demos. I didn't have. Uh, yeah, then back then I didn't have any um, official content. I just had a few remixes up on my YouTube channel, and he somehow check check them out, and he liked those. And he was like, "Dude, I also make beats, and I'm gonna send you some stuff over." So then, uh, like a, a months later, he sent me a beat pack, and like out of that came out 21. Like I got the inspiration of shit. I need, I need, like these beats are crazy. Yeah, I gotta do something with these. Then, uh, like I, I was already right in twenty one, but in terms of beats, like we we added that, you know, that sonic touch to it. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, that's how twenty twenty one came up, and then from there on, uh, we just kept working, you know, like as we had, we did a, lot, a few uh, commercial projects too and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, UV is like uh, my day one. So yeah. So the artists which are rising right now means they are not so much famous, but are they able to uh, earn money through their events or not? Are they able to capture the events? What do you think? What's your opinion on that? Uh, the hip hop so, scene uh, in North East uh, is just uh, evolving. Just it's rising. Yeah. I know it's rising and yeah. it's rising at the faster rate. But are they able to right now uh, earn money for grab the shows? What your story, See, man? Uh, Are you able to grab events? Uh, so at the moment, I'm not uh, doing any shows. Yeah, yeah, shows are coming to me. I will not deny that. But at the moment, I'm not doing any shows. Uh, yeah, bro. I'm, I'm still kind of on a break. I did. I did uh, come back uh, like post COVID. I did a couple of shows, but I was not feeling the energy. Then I realized, okay, let let me just take some time off. Yeah, and. Uh, once all the new stuff that I have uh, in my uh, cupboard, once I put them all out, uh, then I'm, but yeah, it's going to be a new experience, a whole vibe with uh, the new set that I'll put out. That's my personal thing. Uh, yeah. But uh, in terms of the scene, you know, like post COVID things have changed a lot. And, uh, but yeah, uh, rest of Northeast, uh, except for, uh, except for, Itanagar and Guwahati, I think the rest of the Northeast is still not that over the COVID situation. 
Yeah, right. Yeah. Hmm. So, um, like live gigs are happening in uh, I, I see live gigs happening in Arunachal and uh, Bharti only. Manipur has started uh, picking up. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, but uh, see, uh, the money uh, will only come when fans, the ones who are you know supporting right. us online, you know, commenting right. on our videos, sharing our videos, putting uh, across their uh, point of view. Until unless they show up at our gigs, buy our merch. Uh, we are not going to make the money because yeah. we can't always put put it on the venue or the promoter. He, you know, uh, they try to exploit us because we have been through that phase. Like um, yeah. uh, uh, we have taken part in competitions. We have we've traveled uh, to cities, you know, just to take part in competitions, paid from our own pockets, you know, mm-hmm. invested in stuff like that, and. Uh, and then eventually, you know, people started recognizing the hustle and they, they themselves, like we didn't have to quote a price. They themselves yeah. understood a understood value and they quoted like, this is yeah, what bro. they're going to be. And from there on, it kept growing, you know, the numbers kept growing. And uh, for the moment, at the moment, I'm, I'm not taking gigs, but then, yeah, in the moment I go back to it, uh, towards our plan, actually, uh, by okay. the end of the year, I'll be back on the road, like back on the road. So at the moment, uh, and in, for the rest, like that's, that's all I'm trying to say, you know, like, uh, you need to, you need to know who your fam is and yeah, bro. Uh, the fam will, you know, at the moment the fam starts supporting you, uh, they come, they drop by your gig, they, they also influence 10 more people to show up at your gig. Right. They sell that's the tracks. Yeah, they, if they vibe with you, they yeah. share the track and then it promotes you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, bro, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they have yeah. been doing that. Yeah, bro. Yeah, but they also need to show up at the gig and also bring, you know, five, ten more people with them because, you know, artists go to the you know, to put on a show, you know. Yeah, right. So that's what I'm probably, you know, trying to do. Like now, mm-hmm. now next time when I'm on the road, it's going to be a new experience. I'm going to, you know, put up a proper show and give them that experience. Right, bro. So right. That's what is on board. Yeah. So, bro, uh, I have heard about MOX, MOX, Movement of Expression. So, what is yeah. is, is about, man? How you created this, that independent, it's a level. Uh, it's it's a label, some collective, you know, like it started off as a community. Okay, bro. It's still a community, but then we added on services as we move forward, you know, uh, based on the responses we received from uh, people. So, it was in 2017, I, I just completed my graduation and wait, I was waiting for my uh, results. And um, so I was getting approached by, you know, cafes and venues and so on. Uh, mm-hmm. Why don't you put up a hip hop show? Because prior to that, like while I was in college, I mm-hmm. held a few rap showcases, rap showcases. And then uh, there's a sick, uh, very sick uh, female rapper from India called MC Manmeet Kaur. So uh, she she was in Shillong and um, with her we did a workshop uh, at my college, uh, which was pretty well received. And then uh, we did a uh, rap showcase. Um, Royal one mad artist who was based in Shillong but currently based in Bangalore. He dropped a, like one of the best albums according to Rolling Stone. I'm not saying, but, but even I agree. But uh, according to Rolling Stone, he dropped one of the best albums of last year. So uh, he was part of it. So there we kind of, you know, we started all like putting up gigs. So when you saw that, okay, this do this, you know, you know, can do things, uh, put up yeah. gigs and all that. But then um, I didn't have that knowledge, you know, like in terms of monetary yeah. things. I didn't have that knowledge. And then uh, in 2017, me and Nebzone, we were like, Let's just put up a show. And uh, uh, I was also working with Stana then, Stana Beats. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Like, so I, I, basically, uh, I was joining him on his tours. So like, whatever gigs he would get, uh, me, then uh, there was another rapper. Like, he was, he's actually from South Africa, but he was uh, based in Shillong for a few years because um, he was studying there. So mm-hmm. uh, me, you know, Dash, Nebzone, we would, you know, join Stana um, as as his hype man for yeah. gigs that he would get across the region. 
so uh, from there on uh, then stana was also like you should put up a gig and we 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 put up a gig at one of the popular cafes in shilong called mellow moon hmm. and uh, it was uh, for free of course um and it was supported by customers customers was like yeah yeah we will also be a part of it and other big names from the region we had j97 from party coming down so a lot of people got involved and it it, it was a hit and then next edition then I, i was okay let's plan the next edition then next edition um, nasty ninja another like two people from bombay yeah. he was he, he was just here for a trip uh in northeast and i was like uh, yeah i we did this party and we were like would you like to be a part of it mask ninja uh, he was like uh, he was there just there ready with it and, uh, yeah. so then in second edition what happened is that uh, there was a long queue outside the venue and we mm. didn't have enough human resource to uh, control the crowd <laughs> okay it got packed so we had to do it in two sets you know like uh, one so when you got empty we fulfilled it in the middle of waiting outside then came a point where the venue was like uh, you know the best way to crowd control is to put a, a price to the show you know like hmm. the ticket uh, make it a ticket entry big and that's where on like we we kind of got into the all this legal structure get ourselves organized you know like like right, an, like, right. a like a professional yeah yeah bro yeah yeah uske baad kya hua ki when we understood how it works and all that after interacting with people who who know about the business yeah bro then um, from there on we started putting uh, mox parties across uh, india like we went to pune like we we traveled a lot of cities across india so uh, then it became a hit <clears throat> uh, and then while we were at it we started getting you know responses from artists from the region you know uh, a lot of problems related to their uh, releases bahut logo ko pata nahi publishing kya hota hai bahut logo ko pata nahi what's the role of a publicist they do not know what's the role of a manager uh, uh, stuff like that um, so we started getting these responses and then we started you know uh, studying about it like even we started uh, like we we had releases coming in right like mine then nepson also had um, like uh, songs coming out so even we had to figure out stuff like that yeah, like bro. distribution and stuff yeah, like that yeah, and uh, yeah so then you know more people came on board pandrab joined us uh, yugi became a part of mox um, then shanje was there a lot of artists came on board and um, that's how we we formed the collective then we launched ourselves actually, like officially we launched ourselves in 2019 are you also associated with respect the grind what it is respect the grind means respect I, the grind uh, yeah. yeah so uh, respect the grind is an initiative started by djn act okay and it's 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 again a movement basically so his whole idea was to put up a podcast that which he is doing yeah. and uh, on top of that he started off with uh, doing gigs you know like respect the grind is uh, like he brought in uh, it, it was more like an underground movement which he started and um, it's his initiative but he has involved the entire scene in it not just the shillong scene but uh, rappers from other northeastern states are also like a part of it yeah bro he's he's boosted the scene man he has yeah. brought the quality man banjob and dj neck they have brought the quality man so that's the thing banjob has been making quality music long before aya happened okay Yeah, so I I got to know him from the I am man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how it happens a lot. Like, like a lot of people may have known me now with the Northeast Cipher. Yeah, bro. But uh, like you mentioned, I've been active since 2014. Banjob has been active since 2012 if I'm not mistaken. And he has got tons of bangers which people need to go and check out like tons of bangers with Sana beats. Yeah. And bro. like these are all crazy mad music. Banjob uh, did a lot of MOX parties too. He, he performed in a couple of our editions. I think first edition, yeah, first edition he was there with Sana Beats. Then uh, we did one in Guwahati, so he he was there uh, in it too. So yeah, I mean, uh, quality was always there. Yeah, people didn't uh, notice. Take us out, you know? <laughs> okay, yeah. Like and and in terms of raising the bar, 
I think uh, the bar was already raised when Anthem for the Northeast dropped in 2016. Okay. Uske baad se everybody got alarmed. He, okay, shit. Okay, the bar has been risen. Uh, you must have heard it, right? No, I haven't, I haven't heard it. It featured so... uh, all the big. I've yeah, so just. Anthem just... for the Northeast it, featured Kasi is... Bloods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anthem. I have heard the name, but I haven't heard the track yet. Yeah. I have to listen, man. Yeah, it's one of India's best post like, Yeah, bro. So far, yeah. I would say it's one of India's best post which featured some of the like, genuine uh, rappers from the uh, from the region. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so the bar was set, you know, like that's the standard we need to maintain in uh, wh- whatever we do. Yeah, so bro. since there on, like all of us put in, a, and it it was again produced by Stana Beat. So we already knew, okay, what standards we need to uh, hit, and yeah, from there on, we have been trying to raise yeah. the bar high. Man, Silong is means highly involved in music, means in the whole. Northeastern region, yeah. Silong has been so active in music, man. Very much active. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, I, and then, like, after that, uh, done talking happened, Neva Ophelia and Bigri. And yeah, done talking just changed everything, the whole perspective. Like, okay, right. dreams can turn into reality from the region, you know, like, like winning the uh, EMA, right? Yeah. I'm not mistaken, they won the EMA, the MTV, uh, European Music Award. Best India Act. So yes, bro. I think they were the first uh, Indian uh, rappers, like uh, from yeah, yeah, among rappers they were the first. Yeah. From the region, yeah, Alobo Naga to won once back in 2012, if I'm not mistaken, 2012-13. But uh, among rappers, they were the first. Uh, it was not a, a Raja Kumari or a Divine. Yeah. But, I mean, Degree and Meva Ophelia were the first from the rap community when uh, and. Award as big as that was huge, man. That was so, huge, yeah, 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 absolutely. And it gave us the, the, the confidence, you know. Okay, shit. yeah, yeah it's, also, it's, a, it's a pride thing, man. It's a pride thing, man. Our reason, wh- which has been not known to the mainstream, it has brought an award, man, absolutely. I mean. I mean, okay, award is just a validation. Yeah. Uh, but the music is great, right? Yeah. People it's are value the, it's it. also boosts the confidence, man. It boosts the confidence of the youth, man. Those, yeah, those yeah, who absolutely. are beginner or start, those who are working in the field. Right, right, right. So that's what the Northeast Cypher has done, right? Like after that, when we launched that instrumental like uh, contest that we did. Yeah, bro. Uh, like we had, uh, like we have opened it, right? Like we had given the chance to others to, you know, spit on the same beat, and the yeah. amount of response, like the amount of entries that came in with the cipher, was like crazy. Like okay, so kids were like kind of hyped about uh, okay, the cipher happened, and and it was crazy. Like a lot of crazy entries came in, which I feel like deserve to be part of the the next volumes. Yeah, bro, yeah. I don't know if they're getting if they are being put on uh, on the future volumes, but they deserve to be a part of that. Like I would. If, if if I was given the, the chance to make a decision, I would have definitely put them on on the future volume. Nice man, nice. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, any of your favorite artists from northeastern region? I mean, those who I, you, you used to listen, to listen. Jisko aap sunte ho, I mean, regularly, I say just play kar diya yar, aise hi calm tone mein maza aa raha hai. Man, uh, in our collective, we have got a couple of artists who have been, I've been listening on the regular. It's just that we are waiting how, when to put out their stuff. I've been like, okay, maybe I'm biased, but then I kid you not, they've got some crazy stuff and which I which I play on the on the regular. Uh, Bandra has a crazy album, mm. and uh, there's another young phenomena, a young Nate. He has a crazy EP uh, ready, and we're just waiting uh, to put them out. Uh, but apart from that, on on the regular, uh, man, I listen to a lot of Tava uh, Chake. Uh, hmm. uh, then I I listen to a lot of um, Blue Temptation. Hmm. Um, I listen to a lot of Royal, like I mentioned. Yeah. Uh, and uh, um, among rappers, you've got uh, uh, you've got Kapilas, you've got uh, Meba. And then there are, you know, among rap, I have to listen to everything. Yeah, bro. Uh, and uh, so, like, 
I have to if I'm from this scene, I have to support and I have to check them all out. And uh, hey, but apart from that, I, I mentioned some of the names that I, you know, check yeah. on the regular. Yeah, your latest track the with the cat, it was also a good one, man. Dope Thanks. means do word, use yeah, of yeah. word. Sabdo ka prayog. Bhai tagla tha. Gurtwa Garsan. The cat is one of the... <laughs> That that that's, uh, gira the <laughs> yeah, that was catchy, catchy man. Yeah, dude, like um, so that's the whole idea. When I if I'm collaborating with an artist, I need to get inspired by that artist. And yeah. Daket is to me, he's one of the finest lyricists uh, India has got at the moment. Like oh, he comes in my top five list. Okay. okay. So uh, I I was I had mad respect for him and somehow we connected over the lockdown. We had a hand wash challenge and stuff like that. We were just you know on uh, every day we were putting up a sixteen bar or twenty four bar on a random beat. Not a random beat. Uh, beauty contributed to the challenge. An episode gave a few beats. So through that we connected and uh, the song happened and yeah it's it's one of my favorite uh, songs. From from my discography, yeah, it's there in, in the top two, top three. Okay. So in future, uh, jo mainstream rappers hai, just means jo in the top level. So any dream collaboration with any of the artists, man? Uh, top level, pe, matlab, uh, are we talking from India or? Yeah, yeah, in the India, man, man. The Indian scene, man. Yeah. I'm mainly focused on Indian scene right now. India, of course. Yeah, from India, my dream collaboration would be with uh, Divine and Dr. V. Okay, nice. Yeah. So it was nice conversation with you, man. These are two. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Thanks. Please, Thanks. please, please Thanks. continue. I know, basically, I was just saying like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, these are the two artists which, which uh, apart from Khasi Blitz, yeah. these are the two artists which gave me the motivation to, you know, like actually, uh, you know, pursue rap and, you know, yeah, yeah, here we are today having this conversation yeah yeah right bro, right so it was a nice conversation with you uh, within a I means uh, almost six uh six seven years you have been working in hip-hop and have uh, able to reach this level right now so it was an amazing interview with you thanks for joining the interview session we will Thank be you. updating our audience about your work in our news news things and all so thanks for joining me okay. thank you asli fam asli fam bro asli fam